In a world where all our action heroes are super old. Where we have to dig up franchises that started 40 years ago. How vintage. This summer, one man will seek to destroy Beverly Hills for the fourth time. Beverly Hills Cop 4, Axel F. It's gonna be fantastic, trust me. Is he taking you to a strip club yet? You know, when I heard they were releasing a fourth Beverly Hills Cop movie on Netflix, I really didn't know how to feel about it. Having not watched or even really thought about the first three films since the 90s, I honestly couldn't even remember much about the plot of the second one, or hell, even the third one at all. But since last week, I was finally infected with the illness for the first time i found myself with a lot of free time so i decided to watch all four beverly hills cop movies back to back and i can tell you with all confidence that the fourth movie is the best beverly hills cop movie i know the fourth installment of a franchise that started 40 years ago is the best one out of the series crazy i did not have that on my 2024 bingo card i also didn't have getting the koofy koof but here we are the fourth has everything you want in a beverly hills cop movie copious amounts of needless destruction making fun of hollywood culture ridiculous speed chases it's even got Serge in it with all the other og boys too it's great now, is it a cinematic masterpiece? Obviously not, it's a Beverly Hills Cop movie. But it is exactly what you want in a summer action blockbuster. So, for my highbrow critic score, I give Beverly Hills Cop 4, Axel F, a 7 out of 10. And for my schmo score, the score for the average Joe Schmo, I give it an 8 out of 10. Now, this is the part where I usually get into spoilers, but to be real honest, if you've seen one Beverly Hills Cop movie, you've seen this movie. Because it follows the exact same Beverly Hills Cop formula to a T. It just does everything better. Starting first and foremost with the writing and dialogue is so much better. Everything flows, there is no time wasted in the editing, which is very much not the case for the first few films. There's a lot of awkward scenes in those ones. I don't know if you have the time for this, but if you rewatch the first one, it's pretty janky at times. Also, fun fact, there's a young Mike in the first one, which is pretty cool. Also, Beverly Hills Cop movies tend to get out of control in the ridiculous situation department and the fourth also gets ridiculous at times but i feel like there was someone in the writing room who tried really hard to keep things sort of within the realm of believability which i appreciated i can only suspend my disbelief so far overall the story is well paced with constant action mixed in with good emotional beats which really sets the fourth apart from the rest of the films. So in the latest film, one of the driving forces for the plot is the relationship Axel has with his estranged daughter. Now, this whole thing could have gone bad real quick. You know, they could have done the old Hollywood, new young female character berates old famous male character and tells us how wrong we are for liking old famous male character and how she is actually the best and is always right. But they didn't do that. Axel's interaction with his estranged daughter are pretty normal. You know, she's mad at him for being a deadbeat dad, but she still helps him and acts like a normal human being. And Axel feels bad for how he treated her, but he never tucks his tail in when she confronts him about it. There's actual, you know, growth and character dynamics going on here. In 2024, crazy, I know. 
Plus, having this emotional heart element to the film makes the whole story more compelling and satisfying overall. Something that the first three movies could have benefited from having. And like I said, everything is just done better. The fourth has better acting. It has better cinematography. It has better action and stunt scenes. I know it sounds crazy, but yeah, the fourth film in the series is the best Beverly Hills Cop movie. If I had to rank them, it would go obviously the fourth, number one, then the first one, followed by the second one, and dead last is the third one. I don't know what happened on that third one. It is a delusional fever dream of a movie, and I know a little something about having delusional fever dreams as of late. So, if you're a fan of the franchise, or really just someone who wants to see a funny action movie that's a complete throwback to another time done really, really well, I highly recommend you check out Beverly Hills Cop 4 Axel F. I mean, it's on Netflix, you didn't have to go to the theater, and you could do far worse. Anyways, thanks for being here, I appreciate you, and I'll catch you at the next one.